Hello everybody, today I have, never mind that, um, I've got a project share for you, this is my very first ever baby album, so last year when I did some craft fairs I was asked over and over and over again for baby albums, so it was my goal this year to A, acquire baby paper because I did not have any, um, and then to start working on getting some baby albums done. Not that they're my favorite thing in the world, but I do love to craft. Some of the paper is pretty cute. Um, so we're gonna see what happens and see if these end up becoming a pretty good seller this year. So let's go ahead and get started and I will show you this baby album. All right, so it would not be <laughs> my crafting channel if I was not using paper that is abnormal. I do, I promise, I do use Graphic 45, um, Echo Park, Cartabella. I actually have a ton of it and that's what I collected really early when I started hoarding craft paper and then I got sucked into other brands, which is a lot of what you've seen is because as my skills have grown, that's what I tend to grab is kind of the off-brand paper. Um, but I promise I do use the others and some of my upcoming videos and baby albums will be using some of that paper. But this album here is a six and a half by six and a half. So it is fantastic for your six by six paper. Um, I actually made an album very similar to this in the winter and was asked for a tutorial. So the tutorial on how to do this is coming and it will be with more baby paper. Um, a great way to kill your six by six paper so I have this collection this is called um, what is this called kid land by dress my craft I as you can see I have the 12 by 12 I also had when I bought this I bought two of the six by sixes um, and the way they package this drives me crazy because they're they're bound <laughs> but they always ship them wrapped in plastic anyways so I started out having two of the six by sixes, one of the 12 by 12s. They did not have an ephemera pack. They had what is called a motif paper. It's basically your ephemera not um, cut out. So you can see here in my little baggie here, um, this is those two motif pages cut out using my scan and cut. That was the first time I got to use that. So that was an adventure. And I ended up not using any of this in this album. I don't know, can you even see it? Kind of. Not a frame. That's what happens when I'm not standing up and trying to pay attention. Um, so, I ended up not using any of this. I anticipated that I would because I didn't quite know what I was going to put on the cover, but um, I ended up not using it. But I'll probably end up using it with the 12 by 12 when I get to it. So, what I actually have left from this project is obviously the ones I didn't open, the motifs that I did not use, AKA the ephemera. Um, I did end up using one cut apart page out of the 12 by 12, just because I wanted the bigger ones because the six by six is really just the 12 by 12 shrunk down. It is not done any different, whereas there are some brands that do them different, but here these little tiny guys are the cut aparts in the six by six so I wanted something bigger um, on my cover so I took that out so what I've got left of my six by six are some of the little baby cut aparts that are left over I've got some cut aparts left from the 12 by 12 page that I took out um, and then I've got just a couple of pages here that are left over and I'll show you I've got this page this was a boo-boo cut <laughs> I didn't cut right when I did it I was not paying attention and then these two full pages so here you can see what that cut apart page looks like in the six by six just wasn't quite big enough so that's really all I have left so like I said this is a great way to kill a six by six and I will show you when we do the tutorial which will not be part of this video it will be a separate video um I will show you how you get rid of a 24 page six by six. So let's go ahead and talk about this project itself. So on my cover, I've got obviously the pattern paper. 
I went through and stitched, which has been a long time since I had stitched. Um, so I stitched that, matted it on orange. I ran this burnt orange through the entire album. And then I have gold on there. Uh, these are flowers out of my stash. I believe all of these flowers are Prima from their Luna collection last October that went crazy. I'm hoping they come out with something very similar again this year. But these were different packs, I believe, that matched that. I'm fairly certain these three are. These ones might be. I'm not certain. So those flowers came from there. This cut apart, again, came from the 12 by 12 This actually little tiny precious one came out of the 6x6. Six six. I wanted the smaller font. I got to use my new tab punch for the very first time. I've got a magnet in here, and this opens to be able to put a 3 by 4 photo of your kiddo in there. So you know this album is all about that kiddo. On the spine, I went through, I got to play with some stitching again. I learned how to make it smaller. So we've got some stitching on the spine with pattern paper. There's that orange. And then on the back, pattern paper orange, gold with gold stitching. Then I've got ribbon closure on this one. These are ribbons out of my stash. I've got more ribbon than I know what to do with. And sometimes it still doesn't match the project I want it to. Go figure. So on the inside here, I've got everything matted in orange and then the pattern paper on top of it. So here I've got a pocket with a die cut little border on there. I went through, like I said, and used up the cut up parts that I could. So here I've got just a little booklet and I went through and stamped. I was able to use my Country Craft Creations photo stamps for the very first time. So you can put a three by four in there. And then every single one of these, oh, come on. These cut up parts that I matted, I went ahead and put it on the back so you can put a three by four photo on every single one of these little guys. Hopefully that helps. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes people don't know how to use our crafts that we come up with. So I was hoping that putting them in here and saying, you know, put a photo on here would be helpful. So you could still have this beautiful page, have this little cut apart on here, put a photo on the back, and then if you wanted, you know, tuck your photo in there that way, or you could leave it with your little character on there knowing that when somebody looks through it, hey, pull that out, I've got a photo on the back. So here we've got our very first signature. I'm sorry, I've been like half out of frame the whole time. Um, so these signatures are made using a one full page of 12 by 12, which I will show in the tutorial that is coming next. It's the next thing I'm gonna film. Um, so this is one page of 12 by 12, which therefore gives you a six by six page. So every single page uses one full sheet ish of six by six. So I just went through, I tried to put a character page with a pattern page, little tuck spots and critters where I could. The middles on all of these are pocket pages. And what I did was why I have no cover left of the six by six was I used the covers to make the inserts. So I actually liked the hole that they had in the top of it. Instead of just a normal circle hole, they had kind of these little funky holes. So I just matted them on top of each other. So this is actually the back cover. Mm, this one actually would be the front cover, but I just matted it to it so it's nice and thick. And so just a normal piece of paper. And then you've got your insert with some little ribbon on it. So trying to get creative to use all the things use up what we got here. And so we've got that, we've got one more page. And so there, we'll stick in there, right? There's one signature right there and it gives you six pages, six pages for one signature. And then here we've got our second signature, again with more little tuck spots where I could get them in. And like I said, every single one of these says three by four on the back, so you can stick your pictures in there trying to also show that these were all little tuck spots where I could get to them and then there is a pocket on the back so you can stick other things in there so this album will actually hold a ton and because it has a ribbon closure it's got some room for expansion it doesn't have a ton though because it has a one inch spine on it so it will probably end up doing that funky um I want to call it an expansion which I just said but I'll show you here. So when you go to start filling this, especially because it's double matted, this will end up getting bigger. So at some point, if you have a quite a bit in here, this side will end up being bigger than the spine. Um, 
So if you're wanting to make something like this and you're worried about filling it and it being too small, you can always just open and make a bigger spine with some more room between your signatures in there. But there's that six by six album. Like I said, a tutorial is coming. It's next on my list. I have it prepped on my desk. We're going to start it today. The cat has hello. Has, the cat says hello. Sorry, she's going to narrate the back here as we wrap this up. But please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, a short tutorial is coming. I actually have another one in my head. It's not prepped. Thank you for your input. Um, but this tutorial is coming. It should be the next video on my channel. So stick around for that. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that you see when it comes. And I will see you in the next crafty video.